Hey guys, Mana Shrimp here, and welcome back to the channel for the second edition of Legend Buff Ideas for Apex Legends. If you guys don't know, I did a video for Octane first, and you can check that out on my channel if you would like. But in today's video, I wanted to cover another champion that I think could use some meta shifting. I'm talking about the holographic trickster, trickster himself, Mirage. We're going to quickly go over his current abilities and look into potential ways to boost him up in the meta, including using concept idea from an upcoming legend that I think would be much better suited as a Mirage buff. But before we get into the buff ideas, if you do enjoy these videos, I would appreciate if you, appreciate if you could like, comment, and if you're feeling a bit froggy, go ahead and leap and hit that subscribe button. Now, Mirage is a character that I don't really like as a character, but I do often find myself playing with him a lot in game because I really like his kitten abilities. Plus, the kit kind of reminds me of Zero from Borderlands 2, which is a game and the character that I freaking love, so any chance to play like Zero makes me very really happy. And while I'm advocating for a buff for Mirage in certain areas, I don't necessarily think he's as bad as people make him out to be. I think there's a lot of strength and depth to his kit. In fact, one thing I wish I had done in my Octane video is offer that same disclaimer. They could be buffed, but that doesn't mean they are the worst. They just don't have the same strength and play styles that some of the other champions do. So with all that said, let's look at Mirage. Mirage's passive ability, Encore, makes it so whenever he gets down, a hologram is deployed in front of him and the real Mirage goes invisible and allows him to avoid getting thirsted for a few seconds. His tactical, Psyched Out, lets him send out a hologram of himself that will run in a straight line to whatever point Mirage directs it to go. And his ultimate, Vanishing Act, makes it so he can go invisible for a short period of time in order to flank or escape while a bunch of other holograms pop up in a circle to conceal his getaway. So as for the buffs to these abilities, for his passive ability, Encore, I actually wouldn't mess with it. I think it's a very solid passive overall, and it keeps you alive long enough while your team can hopefully move in and you can move out. Uh, currently, I'm fine with the passive, and I don't really have any changes for it, just because I think, as is, it's a fairly good passive ability. Um, but where I do think a lot of his work and a lot of his weakness lies is his tactical ability, Psych Out. Where I do think Mirage's weaknesses do actually lie is in his tactical ability, Psych Out. And I do have a few ideas that I think could help with that. One of those ideas is using a potential ability for a new champion that is most likely going to be released in Season 4 called Revenant. There's been some leaks that have shown his abilities, but disclaimer, none are final and they are subject to change. And some abilities have been confirmed to have been removed already. But I do feel like one of these abilities can actually help Mirage. The leaked abilities made it so Revenant is able to deploy shadow forms, similar to Mirage's holograms, but Revenant is able to teleport to the shadow forms. Essentially makes it so Revenant can switch places with his shadow clone. And I was thinking instead of Revenant, who already seems to be pretty strong, uh, this would be a perfect buff for Mirage. Being able to switch places with his own illusion would be a lifesaver and change Mirage's playstyle drastically. For example, maybe you need to get across an open field but you're pinned down by the enemy, so you send out a hologram. And now, if Mirage is able to switch places with the hologram, the enemy actually, the enemy actually has to decide if they want to shoot it, which would give you a distraction, or they don't shoot it and Mirage can use to swap cover spots. It simply makes players make a choice on the hologram. That could be a huge advantage to give Mirage for a second or two opening to move rather than enemies simply ignoring his hologram. The other idea I had for a tactical buff is actually for my time playing Borderlands 2 with Zero. Essentially, Zero has similar holographic capabilities as Mirage, but he also has an ability called Unforeseen. Now, Unforeseen was an ability that allowed for his decoy to explode in electric burst after the duration of the decoy had ended. So what Respawn could do is make it so Mirage's hologram can be sent out, then by reactivating or pressing Q again, it could be detonated in an AOE fashion, dealing damage to anyone around it. It could be a very powerful surprise tool, especially if you can sneak up on someone. Uh, it could allow you to push and uh, gain ground onto the enemy. Um, and I just think allowing it, the hologram to be more offensive overall could be a huge buff for Mirage. And it's just a simple thing, but it could be such a huge thing. Now, for his ultimate ability, I actually don't think it's that bad, similar to his passive. But that doesn't mean there's not room for improvement in his ultimate. So, I think a couple of the popular suggestions were to remove his footsteps while invisible, or removing footprints as he walked so people couldn't see where he was walking. 
Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about those ideas. They might make them a little too strong. But instead, I had an idea that the holograms deployed in his ultimate in the circle could actually move around and those could enable audio distraction footprints so that people would not under know which footsteps is Mirage's, but they would still be able to find Mirage if they could listen close enough. So that would make it so it wasn't too overpowered, but it would still allow him to move around and potentially escape situations where people can't just follow his footsteps. And one other idea I actually had was, it's an intro one, it's sort of a meme one, but I actually would love to see if Respawn could actually do this effectively. So the other idea I had thought about was you could give his ultimate a special melee ability that could only be delivered while in his ult and behind someone. Where if you can get behind someone in his ult, he can deliver a really powerful melee attack that could do a lot of damage and allow you to finish an enemy in a squad. I really feel like this could be a very fun playstyle, a very aggressive playstyle, um, and could allow for a lot of highlights in the game. And it does require a lot of timing and talent to actually pull off and get behind someone with footstep audio in the game. I think one thing you can think about is uh, Spy from Team Fortress 2 and how fun it is to play with him and how he sneaks in and gets in and gets out. And just, he, nice people in the back and they're dead. <laughs> But I think that could be a really fun, uh, really fun idea for a Mirage. Maybe not a one-shot, one-kill knife ability. Maybe we could just destroy shields or just take off 50 health or 50 shields or something like that. We don't really have melee characters at the moment. We just have heirlooms and stuff like that. And we are looking for a Mirage heirloom at the moment. Uh, the community is very much speculating on it. I think a knife could be a really fun one. And you could use that for uh, that ability. Uh, but yeah, I think that was that would be a really fun idea. Overall, I think Mirage is in an okay state, but he really does have a lot of room to grow and be more um, be more viable in higher tiers when people know what Mirage's kit and can counter him very well. So yeah, overall, those are some ideas for changes to Mirage. We have a lot coming in season four, and I'm excited for it. Uh, let me know if you agree with these buffs, disagree, or you have your, if you have your own ideas. Uh, I really enjoy making these speculation and buff videos. I'm having a great time like researching and trying to think of my own ideas. Uh, because it really makes me have to try and analyze the legend and see what makes them work or not. And I've just been having a really good time actually doing the research on this and thinking about them. Uh, it's been really, really fun. So that's the video on Mirage. I'm really sorry it took a little bit longer than I wanted to. Uh, I had some real life things, but I really appreciate the people who have asked about it and were hoping for it. Uh, that meant a lot to me. Um, but yeah, I want to um, I want to say a really thank you to the community. Uh, you guys have been really supportive so far. Um, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. It's having fun. Um, but yeah, I'm Mana Shrimp, and thanks for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Um, yeah, and take care. Have a, take care. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.